That's my paint station. It is a really common place to work on miniatures. Recently, the good people at the Army Painter sent me their War Games complete paint set for review. In it, you get 124 paints plus 5 free paint brushes. In this video, I'm going to pack all these paints into my painting workspace. Right now, I use a lot of Hobby Zone products. They look great and work well. That said, the configuration that I have will not hold this number of paints. It could hold that number of paints if I bought a few different racks, and I wouldn't mind expanding on what I already have. But because I don't currently have those items on hand, I'm going to look for a different way to store these paints. What we have here is my Paint Case 2.0 by Frontier Wargaming. They sent me this for an earlier review video. There will be a link in the description below. My original plans for this case was to use it as a mobile painting platform. My intent was to use it if I needed it at the kitchen table and also I want to use it when I finally go back to the local gaming stores to paint alongside others. Today I'm going to press it into service for my permanent painting area. This video is about how I'm going to fit these 12 trays of paint into my work area. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Jay and you're watching Must Contain Minis. I do reviews and showcases of miniatures and miniature related products. I tend to focus on companies out there that are not necessarily the biggest on the market. Now, let's find these paints a new home. Opening the Frontier Wargaming Paint Case 2.0, we find 4 drawers for paint. The company says that is enough to carry 128 bottles of paint. I'm going to put that to the test. The Army Painter's War Games Complete paint set comes with 124 bottles of paint. That means that this case should be able to hold all of that plus 4 more bottles. You can change out the configuration of this case to hold 192 bottles, but I only need to worry about 124. So it looks like the default loadout should be perfect for my needs. To speed things up, I put this video on a bit of a time lapse. Transferring the paints over to the paint case 2.0 is simple. I may rearrange these paints later, but for now this will do. Army Painter is a brand that I have used in the past. Many people, including myself, use these paints improperly when they first start. This can give the impression that the paints can be a little watery, but that's not the case. The trick is you need to know how to mix them. There are a few ways that you can go about doing this. Army Painter recommends that you shake the bottle briefly and then empty some of the medium out of the top. Then seal the bottle again and shake it again. After shaking it the second time, the paint is ready for use. Before knowing how to use the paints, I would use those first few drops that consisted mostly of paint medium and wonder why the paints are not as good as other brands. The truth is that I was just using them wrong. Oddly enough, after I shook the paint again and refilled my palette, I would find that the paint kept getting better as I painted more and more miniatures. It turns out you're not supposed to use the top drops of the Army Painter bottles when you first open them up. These are the things you learn when you read the directions, but most of us ignore those directions or do our own thing. I know I've been guilty of that myself. In fairness, the back of the bottle tells you just to shake the paints well. But if you head to the Army Painter website or check out the literature that comes with the paints, they tell you about the trick to squirt the top medium out first. After you remove that medium and shake them again, these paints have a good consistency to them. To make it even easier to shake your paints, you can try out the Army Painter Mixing Balls or a Vortex Mixer. There will be links to these in the description below. I highly recommend the Vortex Mixer because it makes shaking the paint so much easier. I plan to give a test on the mixing balls in the future. One of the things that I like to do is to put a dab of paint on the lids of my dropper bottles. This makes it easier for me to find them later on. The fact that I'm putting the paints in a case like this one, where I can't see them all at the same time, it makes it even more important, in my opinion, to put that dab of paint on the top so I can tell the colors apart quicker. On top of giving me a complete paint set, the Army Painter also sent me six bottles of brush on primer. Since I have four extra slots for paint, I'm going to add four of those bottles into this case. There it is, all loaded up. This case really does hold 128 paints in its default configuration. Here's how my hobby desk looked after I reconfigured the space to fit the new 124 paints that the Army Painter sent me. 
What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. A special thanks goes out to the Army Painter for sending me these paints. Thanks also goes out to Frontier Wargaming. Although I had not planned on using their paint case 2.0 for my home office, I'm glad that I had it as it fits the Army Painter's complete paint set perfectly. If you want to support this channel, please watch my other videos and check out my website too, mustcontainminis.com. On top of that, there are also some links in the description below labeled as affiliate. Those links earn me a small commission without costing you anything extra. Thanks again for watching this video and until next time, happy gaming everyone.